Inside the heart of every man is a way to find peace and perfect balance. A place where friendship, honor, and courage celebrate humanness. Sometimes this place is a comfort, sometimes a challenge. On the journey to the center of one's humanity, the seemingly long and winding path is at times surprisingly simple. The experiences we choose manifest the world we dream. Awareness is understanding when to jump and living is the feeling that we experience when falling through the skies of our own limits. Life is infused with moments of clarity and heightened awareness. These moments connect us to each other. They make us understand that we are not alone, that we are part of a bigger intelligence, an organism that thinks and breathes and sometimes speaks. The poetry of this voice is powerful and we feel the metaphors deep inside our bones, whispering and then calling and finally shouting out our names. But in those moments of simple experience that free us from ourselves and connect us to the electric ball of human exchange, we do not hear the shouting, only the silence. I got a call from my brother Chris one day and he said he had an idea. He had made friends with a guy from Chifudi in Venda where every year end they have a bare knuckle boxing tournament. I think you should do it, he said. It's basically a street fight. Will you do it? He questioned. Bring it on. It's right up my alley. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. I'll do it. I need a challenge. Everyone is speaking? How's it, Chris? Yeah, I'm coming down now. Okay, thanks, man. Okay, bye. My name is Rivuan Mambu. I'm a multimedia journalist from the Times newspaper in Johannesburg. I had always wanted to shoot a documentary about Venda fist fighting. My main objective was to record this beautiful tradition to keep it alive and for other people to know about it. A friend of mine introduced me to Chris Bond, who had the same idea of shooting a documentary on vendor fist fighting. We met and agreed to shoot the documentary together. I like the idea of you uh, bringing your brother to, to, to Venda to go and fight. He's got a lot of challenges and then I don't know if he's gonna handle it. Yeah, everybody's crazy at home, everybody's waiting for this white guy to come and fight, understand? It is a good angle for the story because he's gonna be the first white person to fight them. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be crazy, you understand? He has to be prepared for it because fist fighting is, is tough. Uh, you're gonna stay in my place. Yeah, I've got, I will provide you with a room. Definitely, I will take you around Venda, and then you can see the beauty of Venda. We're gonna interview a lot of people. Okay, Chris, it was nice to meet you. Sure, man. Take it easy, man. Thanks, man. I'm going to Venda to uh, partake in a pinnacle boxing day. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, basically I'd like to merge with their culture, you know. So the experience should be good for me. I'm doing it for for passion because I I enjoy the art of the fist fight. pretty sure that I've got the skill and the know-how to uh, 
beat anybody. I'm looking at it as a way of kind of being reborn again. Maybe I just need this to release myself. You know? I think it's good to go and face your fears. Get the hooks flat. People ask me why do you want to do this? Oh, if you're daring, or you're crazy, what? To me, it would be like a, a way of setting myself free. Uh, my name's Anton Gilmore. I've been boxing for about 25 years. I had 27 pro fights. Picture in my mind, uh, Clint Eastwood, any which way but lose, making a circle, guys step in the ring and uh, in the center of this ring of guys. When you step out there and you start having a fight, you're going to find out if you've got courage or not. I've been a bouncer since I was 17. Eh? Yeah, if people uh, get drunk and disorderly, then you've got to resolve the issue and maybe take them out if they fight with each other you got to stop them from fighting sometimes they want to have a go at you and then you got to defend yourself just make sure everybody's safe and secure I'm viewing this as an opportunity for me to change my life and regenerate myself and be born again because for many years I've been lost and confused and I just feel that if I partake in this event I will benefit in a positive way source of energy to push my way forward and find my way through life well naturally I would go down there and uh, perform well win all the fights I, I partake in and win them with style you know? nobody would be injured or hurt and I'd win the respect of the vendor people and they would view me in a, in a good life. Maybe I'd come back to Joburg and consider making a comeback to the boxing room. Maybe in my heart that's what I'm thinking of. Let's see how this goes. This is a moment of truth. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> You don't throw them hard, it's just on the beat. You don't need to because yeah. you've got a bare knuckle. Hopefully you've got strong hands that you, you can take a, land a couple punches on a guy's face and not break your knuckles first of all. Oh, the damage is, uh, you know, with a glove you can take five or six punches in the head and not even get cut. With these uh, type of fights, uh, one solid blow on the head and the guys are definitely going to get cut and their hands are going to get damaged, but essentially there's going to be a lot of damage. <laughs> I certainly hope there's paramedics. Eh? <laughs> land your punches first and make sure you land them first because if he lands his punches, you never know what can happen. <laughs> so if Dylan lands his punches early, he stays up on his legs, I think he's got a very good chance of actually proving himself. My daddy's going to win the, and he's going to go and box there, and he's going to win. Uh, I'm Lydia, this is my kids, and Dylan, we married, and I'm very glad that he's going to Vendor, and I uh, hope That's he's going to do very well because he's been baby. training and very I hard. And I have a baby. Yes, I am a little bit nervous because <laughs> I've never been through this alone by myself. So he's not going to be there, I don't know. I'm a little bit scared to be honest. <laughs> I can't stop him from what he wants to do, you know what I mean? He's going to do well. Well, I'm an African person, so I want to partake in African life. This is the rainbow, so what's the problem? 